82 Square Studio has done it again. Uh, he has released something called the TLX Service Pack. Uh, consists of four different items, I'm sure. And yeah, it, it's a really cool one. Um, it comes with uh, a video showing how to actually use this implementer. This one here is a little bit tricky. I think I got the whole of it now, but anyway, so it consists of the service bed, no, wreck it, uh, and a weight. This weight here is really special. Uh, first of all, you can actually lift it. There's no weight to it, but you can adjust the weight as you go by. And then the second bed is the uh, service bed. Uh, all of these beds here, there are three beds, also have the opportunity to have fuel inside. Now this one here also comes with a crane and this attachment here, which is called again the Crane Traverse. You're going to need this uh, to hook up to the crane and you have tension belts and you can lift more or less everything. And lastly, we have the flatbed which have unfoldable and foldable ramps on the back. And as always with TLX and 82 Square Studio stuff, there's a ton of options, lights. Uh, I think this color here is pretty new actually. I don't think I've seen this color in the palette for TLX equipment before. But anyway, I'm not going to go through all of the uh, different um, options, uh, more or less all the things I put out there. I haven't done anything with them. I just changed the color. Now, it says in the mod description that this mod pack here is only uh, working with either the Max Superliner version 1.2, which is this one. This also got an update today. Uh, today we are talking um, 12th of June 2023, so if you're watching this in the future, this could have changed. Because it doesn't work with the uh, Phoenix, TLX Phoenix yet. Uh, because this also needs to be updated to version 1.2. And the same goes with the TLX 9000. But anyway, so this one here, you will of course find under trucks and it's called the service frame. Here we go. So this is the, um, not in-game, the, but the normal Max sub Superliner. And this one is called service frame. Now you, when you come into this, you, you're getting straight into the service frame. So this is the, this is how you want it. Don't change it to uh, either of these well what well, actually i haven't tested out is service frame should we try this one i don't think it's gonna work you know what i'm gonna try it with a sleeper <laughs> and then all the bells and whistles i'm not gonna go through that you know what i'm gonna list this in case this works uh, but as you see on the phoenix uh, there are no service frame yet and I checked in the mod hub, this is still version 1.1. And when you go into this one, you are not able to get the um, service frame. I tried with this one, the Rigid X2. But uh, yeah, so this one needs an update. The implements themselves you find under miscellaneous. And yeah, I need to clean up here. I have too much. I, I think I have all the TLX stuff. <laughs> There's so much I haven't used. Uh, the racket, the service bed, the crane traverse, and the flatbed. And also here, um, there are so many things you can do. Uh, all the color, you know, the um, special edition uh, color palette, lighting, decals. Uh, what else? Emergency light puts a strobe light on the top there. Uh, yeah, there, there's decoratives and the color palette has definitely um, expanded. Uh, so yeah, it's it's a really nice feature. The service, but and also you can see the price. It's not that 
hefti. Now, there's one thing. Um, let's see here now. Uh, on the service bed, it says in the mod description that it can hold 15,000 liter of fuel. But here it says 25,000 liter. <laughs> <laughs> and the same goes here, the silver bullet and special editions, nothing uh, special here. Oh yeah, uh, the middle here, you can have it empty like this, or you can have it with different, you know, not trash, but uh, so if you want to, to carry something, you know, pallets or something, keep it like this. Uh, and then the Phoenix Traverse Crane, you can change the color on, like so. And then the flatbed. This one holds 10,000 liter with fuel. And that's the same with the racket, I think. Yeah, 10,000. So this one, 25. Uh, lastly, the weight. The special weight is this guy here. The TLX HD front weight. 650 to buy. You can either have it. I have it like this. I, to be honest, I haven't tested it with a three point. But we can do that now with the new one, at least. Uh, you can have it with work lights, uh, beacons, uh, protective plate, bull bar, and the winch option. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay, I I'm going to test out this one. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's jump in the new one here. And uh, let's just lease ourselves uh, one of the beds. Let's take the. Do, do, do. I know I, this is just uh, testing on testing. Nah, that don't, doesn't work. Nah, it's because it's a tree point. You have built the animal. All right, let's test it now with the service frame and the uh, sleeper bed on the truck itself. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Of course, it works. So, let's jump down. Uh, too many vehicles. So, oh, I got a physically melt meltdown here. I need to restart. Uh, I was totally off. But anyway, we have attached the racket bed and now it's time to L1 and unfold the wheel lift like so. Uh, hopefully I get it right this time. And L1 and right stick up and down. Adjust the uh, main arm like so. And then L1 and R stick to the side. Adjust the outer arm like so. So I'm gonna go all, all the way down the main arm and keep this as low as possible to get under the. It's a little bit fiddling, but anyway, there we go. So now, and I can also R1 and right stick. You can also adjust this one so you get a little bit more distance. Let's see if we can get underneath it now. Uh, a little bit lower down, like so. There we go. So now we have done that one. Uh, and then, then it says it's mandatory to enter the vehicle, which you're going to tow before you uh, attach the tension belts. Okay, I'm going to enter that one. I'm not going to do anything, I think. There's no option of connecting anything. So I'm going to go back to this one. And now it says lift the vehicle off ground. Okay, I'm going to use the main arm, the main cylinder. And then I'm going to lift it a little bit with the outer arm like so. There we go. And now I'm going to switch to the outer implement. Then I'm going to fasten tension belts. Boop, like so. And then it says, uh, select axle lift attachment and activate the straps. Yes, I've done that. And then use the lower axle lift function. So now, on the L1, it says lower TLX racket axle lift. So I'm going to do that, boop, like so. And now you see it's really heavy. 
really heavy. It's too heavy for this one. So what I need now, I need the weight. And I can just, as I said, we can carry this weight. Now hopefully, uh, I'm in the mid air here now, so maybe I'm not able to attach it. So I need to go to the middle implement and I need to lower that one a little bit like so and then attach the weight so now let's lift up the TLX Phoenix again so oh not too much there buddy so now this 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 weight there is so cool so let's switch to the weight like so and then R1 and right stick up and down look what happened on the side of the weight there now let's see r1 and right stick up and down you see that bar going up you're filling it with weight and the weight gets heavier and the mac liner gets down on the ground <laughs> that's cool <laughs> and now we can lift this one a little bit more maybe I don't know why it's so unstable hmm let's uh, let's lift the whole uh, big arm here a little bit no no not like that I'm more or less in the middle here I don't know why I'm getting, uh, hmm. I'm not getting this straight. Hmm. Uh, maybe lift T-Rex lift attachment. There, it got more stable, but now it's not uh, connected, because you need to activate the lower TLX axle lift attachment, bam, like so, but then it flips over. Why? You know what? I'm gonna test it with the, uh, I'm, I'm gonna test it with the other guy. <laughs> and we're gonna test it on the uh, the harvester. Let's uh, boop like so. Now we have weight on that one. I'm gonna fire this bad boy up. Let's try it with the big harvester. Attach this one. Uh, unfold that one. Let's go now. I'm more or less straight in the middle of the harvester. Let's uh, lower that one. Let's extend it. Like so. Let's lift it. There we go. Now we need to get in the told object. I don't know what this function does, but <laughs> anyway. And then I need to switch to the lift arm like so. And then tension belts, boop, like so. But now it's not connected. Oh yeah, it is. Now I don't need to lower the axle lift attachment, boop, like so. Oh wow, this is heavy. We need some weight. Okay, let's switch to the weight. Uh, L1, R1, and whoop! There we go. <laughs> and away we go. Ah, uh, this worked much better actually. And on this one, I have the big engine, the, uh, what is it, 1600 horsepower or something like that. Uh, 
Now can I adjust it now? Let's see, let's switch to that one. Can I lift it a little bit more? Oh no, it doesn't like that. Yeah, so if you lift it a little bit too much, you don't need to lift it that much. You just need, you know, a little bit air underneath the towed object. And it's working like a charm. Let's go up to speed here. <laughs> now what if we take a little bit of... Ooh, man. Now that's holding pretty good. So yeah, don't don't lift it too much. Ooh, break, break, break. Don't lift it too much. That's that's um, an experience right now actually. So that's the bracket. And then it's time to move over to this little fellow. Let's attach it like so and like yeah like I said the the bells and whistles and lights all over the place and uh, we need to switch to it like so triangle I'm on PlayStation 5 so for anywho uh, L1 and X unfolds the crane L1 and square open the cabinets so same thing here even more details on this guy <laughs> Uh, L1 and right left on the pad open cover does this now this is a crucial point uh, when you're gonna lift something uh, heavy so you know you get some extra feet in the front and also on the back back to the crane L1 and X to unfold the crane and now you get the option to L1 Right stick, side to side, up and down, R1, you can extend the arm like so, and down on the R stick, up and down on the, let's see if I can hit the tail now, should get the option of attaching this one, there we go, whoop, whoop, a little bit low. And then we get the option for L1 and do, 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 what was it? Crane unfold, bam, like so. So now we got this one. You know what? I think I'm gonna try to lift that. <laughs> I think, oh, I think I'm gonna try to lift that um, tractor here. Let's see if we can line it up more or less, like so. Uh, and then I'm going to raise it up a little bit, lift up the winch. Let's see if we can get straight above it, like so maybe. And now I need to go back to the truck and I need to open cover, like so. And we go back to the crane, lower down the winch. And then, oh, <laughs> and then R1 to fasten tension belt, boop, like so. Let's see if we can lift this guy here. Oh, yeah. Let's lift up the crane a little bit, like so. Let's extend the arm. Uh, how did I do that again? Uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. Hmm, strange. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, like so. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a big crane. Let's see. Do, uh, do we have 360 degree turning? Oh, we got the dead zone on the hydraulics there. But it's pretty stable with those feet out, that's for sure. And a dead zone there. Oh, that's pretty. That's actually pretty um, realistic with those dead zones there. 
So yeah, you can probably lift more or less everything with this one. Now let's see if I take off those uh, supporting legs, what happens then? Uh, I need to switch back to the truck and close cover. Oh, it's going to tip over. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to tip over. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's go to the crane and let's uh, have it in front here. We should have enough weight here, shouldn't we? Uh, back to the truck and close cover. And there we go. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, these tension belts here are probably going to go around more or less everything. Um, but yeah, you just have to be aware of the weight, and that's why we have those supporting legs sir. And you know what? I'm gonna just show you now. If I go over to the oh, multi prude silo here, uh, I will not get the option. Oh, yeah, I will get the what? On the other one, I had to open the cover to. Uh, Oh, there we go, 25,000 liter with fuel. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let's see, I'm gonna let go of this one. Uh, <laughs> come on, buddy. We need to drive over to the uh, flatbed, buddy. Oh, are we lucky? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, last one uh, is, um, what should I say, more or less a standard uh, flatbed with ramps. Uh, there are no option of adjusting the, the ramps themselves. Oop, there we go. Same thing here. Open cabinets, L1 and R1. Um, what? Why don't I get the option? Oh, there we go. I need to be on the, the back deck. So there's no option of adjusting these ramps. As far as I could tell. But anyway, there are tension belts. And tension belts are pretty good. And here you can uh, more or less see the size of it. So... Not the biggest flatbed, you're not gonna get, um, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> what should I say, um, a class with twin wheels or something like that. There we go, close ramps, tension belts on, and you're good to go. Whoa, 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 yeah, yeah, also here, wait, 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 it's realistic, don't go 150 and with a sharp turn. So yeah, the only thing, um, but the, the instruction on how to use this is pretty easy and uh, 82 Square Studio has also implemented a video on how to attach this one. Um, what I have seen is don't lift it too high up. Uh, you're only gonna need a little bit of air uh, on the front wheels and you should be good to go. And to release it, it's all about, you know, taking tension belts off and you are free. And then you can go back to this one and fold it. Hmm. Wonder why that didn't attach. Uh, 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 unfold and fold. Oh, maybe I need to be. Oh, it's the uh, axle lift attachment. There we go. So if I go now, unfold and fold. Chuck. But yeah, it, it's another great TLX uh, pack by 82 Square Studio. Go and check it out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye.